Where did Kisara run off to? You don't think she took off after Kelzalik, do you? No. Nagal entrusted her with his dream. She wouldn't do something reckless like that. Right now, I think she just needs time to think. What she does from here on out is up to her. She has to be the one to decide. Hmm. <laughs> Friends, Hoodle? You all arrived here from Cislodia, yes? In that case, you should depart via the South Gate rather than the one you arrived through. After all that, Kisara never came back to see us. I'm surprised she slipped away without us noticing. Where would she even go? I hope this place survives. You think the Danins and Renans have a chance of getting along? We didn't really do much to change things around here, did we? This realm had its own walls to overcome. And in the end, it was the people themselves who decided to break them down, without any help from us. I hope they keep going. I really do. Yeah, well... If you say so, I guess. Huh? All right. I leave command of the Gold Dust Cats in your hands. You've got nothing to worry about, Kisara. I'll do your brother proud. <coughs> Looks like it's time to go. Take good care of Zare for me. All right, Lagil? You've got it. Stay safe, Kisara. Did you come to say goodbye? Actually, I was wondering if you could use another companion. Huh? Well, we certainly don't mind you coming along. We just figured you'd stay behind and help rebuild. These people could use you. I thought much the same thing. However, in the end, something changed my mind. Ever since Miguel died, I've been thinking a lot. About where I went wrong, what I should have done differently. You know, that sort of thing. It's true that our dream of coexistence saved many Danon lives, but we were naive and short-sighted. I was so wrapped up in my idea of how things should be that I didn't see the problems that existed right in front of us. I thought we had been given a utopia, and so I never bothered to look too far past its surface. I chose to be ignorant, and because of that, because of me, my brother... Magal's death wasn't your fault, Kisara. Perhaps you're right, but in the end, it was me he entrusted this dream to. I learned that nothing in this life is free, or gained without sacrifice. Now that I know that, I'll just have to figure out what else I don't know. So, decided to join us? I have. And hopefully I can continue to protect Elda Menencia from outside the dream world, for the sake of those still inside. And here I thought you joined for an opportunity on my life. 
In all honesty, I'm grateful to you. I truly am. I don't blame you for what happened. But I must also leave your service. No longer will I be defined by protecting a Renan Lord. From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. All I ask is that you do your part, that you fight alongside me, not just for those who used to believe in your dream, but for those that still do. Dohalim. I understand. I'm no longer a lord anyway. Well, this crew just gets bigger and bigger. All right, where to, team? We make for Mahag Sar, the Valley of the Four Winds. One of your friends, Hoodle? Mahog Sar. That makes four out of the five realms. Go no further! Double Eat demon it. fang! Burn! Burn. 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 Take this! Double demon this fang! This one's Come mine! Flash! Now! Take this! Don't leave! In an instant! Impact block! Didn't even break a sweat. Valuable as I think it is? Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's this thing?
<sighs> Looks like we won. I didn't realize there was a pond here. Yeah, this is Taka Pond. And it happened to have saved my life once upon a time. What do you mean? As a kid, I survived life under the past lords by escaping here when I needed to. It's terrible to swim in, but great for catching a bite for dinner away from Ren and Eyes. Bear in mind, our rations back then weren't enough to live off of. You had to take matters into your own hands if you wanted enough food to survive. But how did you catch them? With your bare hands? That might take a while. Fish are prone to swim away at the first sign of trouble. I'd put bait or a lure on a line and use it with a fishing rod. You must not be familiar with fishing if this sounds new to you. Here, let me show you how it's done. Everything looks fine with the lure. All right, let's do this. Ha! Reel it in. us in a big one. That fish put up a fight. Good catch. And that's all there is to it. Wow. It seems like you need to have good reflexes to catch anything. I don't know if it's really for me. Kisara, I think I've seen enough. Oh, oh, sorry. I guess I'm just in my own little world when I go fishing. Looks like we're going to be here for a while. That's how fishing goes. You wait for a bite, and then the real battle begins. Magal told me that different fish live in different regions, and you have to pick the right rod and lure for what you're hoping to catch. But that doesn't change the fact it's a giant time sink. Of course, each fish has its own unique flavor, too. And some of them are supposed to be extremely delicious. When you put it like that, maybe it's worth me trying my hand at fishing after all. You're just in it for the food. I was hoping we'd get to fish during our travels. And it just so happens I made sure to grab my brother's old rod before I left Vicente. So, if you ever feel like fishing when we've got a little downtime, just let me know. Good to hear. Thanks for showing us. Okay!
I'm always amazed what healing arts can do. Just do- my job. No need to thank me. <sighs> hey. Hmm? Is it just me, or have those two barely spoken a single word to one another? I know, right? But after everything that happened with Megal, is it really any wonder? Kind of puts a damper on the whole journey, though, huh? How long do you think they're gonna keep this up? If it bothers you that much, why don't you ask them? Why do I have to ask? How come you walk together like that? Uh, she really doesn't beat around the bush. You mean Kisara and myself? You hadn't noticed? You've been practically joined at the hip ever since we left Vicent. I guess it's force of habit, most likely. I was always ready to protect him, should the need arise. It sort of came with the job description. Right. From being in the Elder Menencia Guard. Although, Dohalim's pretty capable of defending himself, isn't he? Having guards doesn't necessarily mean the one being guarded is weak. No one's perfect all the time. Even so, it's not like they're entirely wrong, Kisara. You're no longer in my employ, after all. I don't know. I mean, if it's what she's used to and you're both comfortable with it, then who are we to judge? But she doesn't serve him anymore. It isn't normal for her to keep following him around like she still does. You know, she's probably right. And a lot has changed over the last few days. I guess it wouldn't hurt to rethink our relationship in light of the new circumstances. Perhaps I'll give it some thought, after all. Does that sound alright by you? Of course. You might want to stop asking his permission for every little thing while you're at it. <laughs> Sorry. It's not that easy, shaking off old habits. I'll probably need a little time to get fully used to it. Why are you looking at me like that? That armor you wear is standard issue for the Menencian Guard, right? Originally. I've added some flair to it in a lot of places. I noticed, especially with that open back. We guardsmen pride ourselves on never showing our back to our enemies. It's my way of making myself live up to that. Plus, it makes it that much lighter and easier to maintain. Hmm. Dohalim, do you have anything to say about this? Every guardsman is allowed to wear their armor as they see fit. And you, La? Huh? Why are you asking me? This should definitely keep you guys full. your 
12th serving. Damn, that's gotta be a record. Even seeing it for myself, I can hardly believe it. Where is her body storing it all? Oh, have you guys already had enough? Did you not like what I fixed? No, it's just... We're just amazed at how much you can wolf down. Doesn't it hurt even a little? Aren't you feeling heartburn or something? Oh, this is nothing. You know what they say, you always have more room for dinner. I'm pretty sure that's what they say about dessert, actually. Plus, this is Noki we're talking about. That stuff just sits in your stomach. I swear, I'll never understand you Renans. Hmm. Kisara, let's talk for a bit. Maintaining your shield? It's becoming a familiar sight. Miguel was the one who taught me how to maintain my equipment after I first joined the Guard. Now, it's just a part of my routine. Your brother always seems to come up whenever I talk to you. That's because we had no other relatives. So it was just the two of us growing up. He was my idol. The one I looked up to and wanted to be like. When I became a guardsman, Lagiel wasn't too pleased to see me at first. It was Megal who really welcomed me aboard. Lagiel? Oh, right. She was Megal's second in the Gold Dust Cats, wasn't she? That's right. She's always been a very critical and down to earth person. In other words, the complete opposite of a dreamer like me. You're more an idealist than some pie in the sky dreamer. Even so, that's my brother's doing. He'd never let me stop seeing a brighter world. He always did what he could to keep me smiling and happy. You must have meant a lot to him. He wasn't just kind, either. He always worked so hard to set an example for me and everyone else around him. <laughs> he was a true big brother. So much so that when he thought I was asleep, he'd slip out of the house to go training on the outskirts of town. You seem to know a lot about it. That's because I only pretended to be asleep and would follow after him. Hmm. You know what? I'm at a good stopping point with my shield. If you've got time, how about I tell you a couple more Migal stories? I guess I'd better get comfortable. I'll take watch tonight. It's okay. Before we go, do you guys have everything?
I always love the sound. of hammers banging away. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Retreat if you know what's good for you! Get behind me! Airborne feet! My special! This one's mine! Catapult! I'm got fire! I got this! Let a marksman hit it! All yours! Ready! Breeze lane! Let her hit with the earth! This one's mine! Take this! Make it rain! You're finished! Look sharp! Lightning tiger blade! Here I go! I'm going in! We can really make weapons with this? Some interesting moves there, Dohalim. I'm glad you're on our side. I'm simply glad to hear that I can make myself useful to you all. Huh? What's wrong? We seem to have come across some rather unusual objects. What, you mean that pile of garbage? No mere garbage, I assure you. Still, I've never seen anything shaped like it before. I'm intrigued. Uh, uh... Are you curious about this stuff, Rinwell? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I think he might have found some old Danon relics. They look like the remains of a bunch of objects that disappeared after the Renans first invaded. And yet here I am, holding them without so much as a second thought. I imagine this sight must be unsettling to you. Not really, just that it must be nice to be a Renan who has time to indulge in stuff like that, unlike the rest of us. Are you interested in this stuff too, Dohalim? Charmed may be a better turn of phrase. 
I simply love objects that can give me a sense of what their maker was thinking, the history that went into their creation. You see, we Renans have hardly any such objects that trace back to our distant past. I still don't understand what you two find so intriguing about it, though. Why not? We're talking about our own culture here. I get that, but it's not like this stuff is any use now, does it? It's just old. Real old. Oh, but it does. Holding it in your hands like this, one can feel and engage with the distant past in a way no history book can ever accomplish. I'll take your word for it. Well, seeing as it's Dan in history, just make sure you're careful with it. All right, Dohalim? But of course. <laughs> <laughs>